uh, state of urgency uh, which has been decided by the government, by the president, will last few days. And uh, if uh, it is to go on, it will, uh, it will need a law which will certainly be passed in the parliament very quickly. Uh, what happened is that France is at war. This is very clear. You know, we have been attacked by people with uh, uh, war guns, and uh, we all know that it would happen. It would have happened one day. But the only question we had, because the police told us, was when and how. Uh, it's likely, and it has been announced by the Islamic State, that this attack has been committed by their uh, men. Uh, you know that a few months ago, they said for the jihadist candidate not to come to Syria and uh, Iraq, but to uh, start uh, jihadism in France and in Europe. So what has happened in France is likely to happen tomorrow to, in Britain, in Belgium, in Germany, and elsewhere in Europe, because the Islamic states, uh, which is uh, now in, uh, you know, in peril because, uh, you know, is, is not uh, winning uh, so much uh, in Syria and Iraq, will attack directly uh, in Europe. Monsieur Mayer, in the aftermath of last night's deadly attacks, is France going to remain united or is the president going to come in for criticism for his handling of the crisis? There are two answers to this question. First one, we will be united against those uh, murderers, uh, against those terrorists. This is, there is no doubt about that. Uh, secondly, we need to control our borders. And uh, this is why we have always said that, uh, uh, you know, the Schengen Agreement is not working any, anymore properly. Uh, it, uh, it, it is very naive to believe that you can stop everyone at the outside border of the Union, uh, European Union, and we should maintain, if not 24 hours a day, but we should maintain uh, internal control at the uh, national borders. So it's uh, not an answer that we need, but we need to really strengthen our unity uh, by changing our law of uh, uh, how do you become French, by controlling the borders, by not accepting so many immigrants inside France, and also by uh, dismiss na French nationality for those who are, uh, you know, uh, um, speaking with hate and with uh, Islamic radicalism. We don't confuse with all Muslims, but we need to be uh, tougher on those uh, radical people. Monsieur Mayard, you don't need me to tell you that Paris is an open city. People don't have back gardens. They're out in the parks, out in the squares, walking their dogs, playing bull. But today, they've been in their homes. And surely if people remain inside, that is a defeat for France. You're right. I think we should carry on our, let's say, uh, habits as uh, daily habits, uh, because otherwise the terrorists will have won psychologically. But we also need to be vigilant. And I say it's not a question only of, uh, let's say, intelligence, police intelligence. It's not only a question of foreign policy. It's also our own duty as basic citizens to be vigilant and to alert the police when we see something wrong. Because those people, very likely, who attacked France yesterday, they were inside. It's a fifth column, and we have to take care of that.